All right, so portable nickel battery sheet spot welder PCB circuit board battery set is finally here. The all-in-one solution to 18650 battery spot welding. All right, so this one took a while to get in. It was a little over, a little over a month to get here. Uh, you know where the other ones only took like 15, 20 days. But hey, what are you gonna do? So uh, OTO happy. This is his. Bought it from him. This thing twenty seven dollars. Uh, just going into it, I just right away I seen one for cheaper, right here for twenty three dollars, and I think it has better pictures too. So um, the one that it's showing here, I think this is not the one that you would get from this. It's I think that's the older version here. But uh, yeah. It has this video, this picture here, which is the one that we have. Now, it has the, it's all in one. So it has the charging port and the leads and the battery and all that good stuff. Uh, it says that it comes with a, a 4.5 amp hour battery, which would be great. Uh, you got your leads and, you know, everything's there. It's all in one. Uh, the one thing it did when I pulled it out of the box, see this green LED? It was on, even though it was off and i mess with it and it stays on even when it's off it just like that's bright it'll dim a little bit so uh, when you store you might want to you know unhook it all the way which is probably a smart thing to do anyways now it looks like it has these copper bus bars but that's not that's not copper as you'll see in the video that's not copper that's uh uh, it's it's uh, some other type of metal with some it's not even copper it looks orange but hey you know it's there it is a little something a little more than uh, just regular PCB traces so I'm not complaining too much all right let's get into this and see what it'll do all right hey welcome back everybody thank you for watching clicking on the thing doing the stuff leaving the comments and the likes and all that it's good stuff all right so today we're bringing you another 18650 spot welder pcb board yeah man this thing you know, we're doing it again so in the packaging comes in a little box like this here you got your leads uh you uh heat wrap comes with the uh the heat wrap there uh you got a charger this is another all-in-one charger very similar to this one here you get some nickel strip, you get the charging cord, you get the board with the always on little LED. And here's the back of it. So, uh, and it said it was a 4.5 amp hour battery, but uh, I ran two tests. You can see the video here, how I had it set up with the leads. And we only got 3.2 amp hours. So, uh, whatever, still not a horrible battery for the price. Uh, you know, I, I like this one a little better because it has these, uh, I wouldn't say they're copper because they're definitely not copper. Um, yeah, definitely not copper, but there is a little bit more of a bus bar. There is a little bit more of a bus bar on here. So, yeah, look at that, look at that. Not so bad, huh? All right, and then uh, this one also, like I said, all-in-one. Has the charge port. Charge it up. Uh, it was charging at like 1.1 amp. So it, you sh if you drained it all the way down to, to 3 volts, it should only take, uh, you know, 3 hours to charge back up. Maybe just a little longer. So not bad. Uh, you know, it's not... The battery's not as big as this one. The 4 amp hours but this one is it's a little more it's like cumbersome having used them for just a little bit i definitely like how the smaller one here i definitely like how much more compact this one is like uh, you stand it up like do 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 or lay it down get over here you know it, they're all kind of a little, a little bit awkward to do. Let's see, put it, so I was using it like this, 
with the battery against my stomach here so that it don't slide back. One, two, level three with some point one nickel strip. Ah. This thing's fast. The other one kind of gave you a, a half a second. Yeah, so level three. All right, let's turn this off. No, yeah. So you can hear that 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 stuck really well. 0.1 millimeter. It's bang on. Good to go. Another another cheap all-in-one. A little more compact, smaller battery, less MOSFETs, as where this one had four MOSFETs, this one only had three. <sighs> yeah, not so bad. So, uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next time. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's not too bad. And I think that was on level one, so. All right, so we're charged up. We're at 4.19. All right, it's, uh, you got this set on, on red. Here's the button right here. Red. Hey, that's not bad. I can tell already just by looking at it that that's a pretty solid weld. Another one, that's another one, another all-in-one. It's just as good. Those are solid, those are solid welds, man. There's no denying. And uh, I believe this is point one. So let's jump up to, I got some point one five here. I'll go ahead and try that out. So as you can see, that should, oh, okay, that wasn't good. Yeah, it's not the best. So 0.15, let's try that again. All right, we're just gonna do just the one. So not too bad, I mean, you can tell, you can tell it's been welded, but I don't think, yeah, see that just come right off of there. Let's use a different battery that's not uh that battery had some some of these still on there so that that might have uh, been in the way so let's try it one more time all right 0.15 pre-sand yeah it's already coming off that side already came off so for comparison remember this one remember this all-in-one let's uh let's bring it in and let's uh let's see what it'll do I don't think this one did 0.15 very well either. Ooh, never mind. I think this battery is too low. Oh wow, 3.9. 3.9 is too low for this battery to uh, do good. Let's see. I don't know if you can hear that, but when the battery's low, and it seems like, I mean, it was welding a little bit there. But this seems like something you need to have fully charged. Yeah, 3.9. So definitely it probably needs that 4.2 volts. All right, let's, I'm going to plug this in. Uh, I do like that this, this welder is a little nicer because it's a little more compact. But... Yeah, so so red is a little hotter. 
That'd be like uh, level three. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey. You know, this welder is not so bad. This is back to the 0.1 millimeter. And, uh, yeah, that's legit. All right, so for conclusion, what we have here are two inexpensive, all-in-one battery spot welders that will weld 0.1 millimeter nickel strip. If you're just building a little battery bank for charging your phone or you're swapping out the 18650 that's in your you know airpods or whatever this these are this will do it any type of little battery project changing out the uh the batteries in your little solar lights or uh, whatever man that's it's this is uh this is this is a good way to go i would even build my power wall with this i, I would feel totally confident to build my power wall with this spot welder i would use point one but you know what actually if i was building a power wall i would go with the uh the red welder that one i would definitely no problem 0.15 nickel strip all day long i would use that to build my power wall so as i use the k weld and it gets hot i might swap in with the red one give the old give the old k weld a little break you know what i'm saying comment tell me that you did if you didn't like it tell me what you didn't like about it <laughs> like subscribe and um I believe I have another welder coming in, and uh, it, this one's probably probably going to be the best in the world. Like this one's going to give K Weld a run for its money, and it's way cheaper, way cheaper. So get excited for that, and then come back and see it whenever it's posted. All right, thanks. Bye.